I actually heard about Aegis Trust uh, more than 20 years ago. Uh, it was a project connected to the Holocaust and education about the Holocaust with young people. Uh, I was working in the Prime Minister's office in Sweden. We found this amazing uh, small organization, two brothers in England, doing phenomenal things on Holocaust education for young people. So we cooperated with them. And uh, after that, I was extremely happy to see that Idis Trust was also working in Rwanda, where I was posted twice as a diplomat. It's been uh, such an experience today to be here at the Holocaust Center. Uh, I was looking forward to it. I heard about it, but it really exceeded my expectations. It's uh, a beautiful place. It's a difficult place. Uh, a lot of thoughts and emotions that comes from visiting. I've been to museums about the Holocaust before, but I think this was very special. It really had the, the perspective of, 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 of uh, the victims, the survivors, and also the responsibilities of, of, of every human in this kind of situation. I'm just very excited to be connected to Aegis Trust, uh, to, to support, to volunteer in any way I can. Of course, it's an honor uh, to be chair of the board. Lots of important and exciting things coming up. The 30th commemoration of the genocide against the Tutsi in Rwanda. Uh, and also, it's a changing world where new things uh, keep happening, where organizations like Aegis are very important. So, excited to be part of that journey. I'd like first to say thank you uh, for support and for friendship. Organizations like Aegis, uh, the value really expands uh, tremendously when friends and supporters uh, help to bring out the message that Aegis tries to, to convey. Uh, so big gratitude and it's more important than ever, more necessary than ever, that the, the mission and the, the experience from taking part in Aegis Trust activities is, is spread globally. So really a, a big thank you. This is very important work that you do.